Hey creatives, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. I got my hands on Caesar's new DTV and today we're going to use it and see what it's all about. I'll have everything I use linked in the description box below this video. And if you like this video, you learned something new, give your girl a thumbs up, share it with your friends, make sure your bell notifications on so you don't miss any of my upcoming craft tutorials. Alright guys, to start, let's start off with the blank um, canvas and Cricut design space. And let's just go ahead and upload the things we want to use today. So I'm just going to scroll through all of my uploaded images. And add to canvas. Okay, so one of the things I want to do, let's make this a little bit smaller so we can see. Okay, so this is our SVG. First things first, I'm going to be using, I'm pressing this design onto a black background. So I want to make sure like the color, because I'm going to change some colors. So I want to make sure that everything is um, looks good on black. So I'm going to go right over here where it says blank canvas and hit this little white space right here. Go up to the top toolbar where it says color and I'm going to change this to black. And there we are. So now we have a black background, okay? So really what I want to change is the teacher life, the colors on the teacher life. So what I'm going to do is just select, go over here to my panels, uh, well, my layer uh, panel, and I'm just going to select each letter individually and change the color. So I'm just going to select the T, go up here, and change it to move this over so I can see it as I change it. I'm really just going to match it to the colors of these crowns, but I'm just going to do it in reverse order. And one thing that I really like about Cricut is that um, you see where it says material color. So it basically pulled as many colors as it could out of this design and they're all right here. So I don't have to search for anything or anything. They're just all right over here under material colors. So I have the purple. Now I need like this blue right here. And you guys, just a little tip. Once you're done with your design and you're ready to print everything, print it out on regular paper first. Okay, use your regular copy paper and make sure everything prints well and cuts well before you go ahead and use the DTV. I didn't do that at first and I wasted a couple sheets until it dawned on me to go ahead and try that. Okay, so just a little tip to save you a little bit of a headache. And of course, everything I use will be linked underneath this video. Okay, so that looks great. And this outline right here, we need to change that to this one right here. Change that to white like the little crayon box opening thing. Awesome. So now that we have this, uh, we need to go ahead and, because right now it's a SVG, right? Um, we want this to be a print and cut. So we'll highlight it and we can change it to print and cut. And let's flatten. So we have all these layers still, right? We need to flatten it. So now that we have this one layer, so now it's able to be, um, print and cut basically so this um we got this little right here a triangle letting us know that it's too big so we're gonna have to change the dimensions so let's go up here unlock this box and let me see i need it to be 6.51 hit tab and let's do eight because we want to kind of keep it proportionate right so that's pretty much it as far as what we're going to do for this design. So we'll just go ahead and hit make it. And let's see when it gives us the print preview how big it is. Yeah, uh, that, that, that's pretty good. Um, right. So, and I am using the 8.3 by 11 by 17, the A4 paper option. Okay. Because if you did the eight and a half by 11, you would have to make it smaller. But, you know, Cricut did the update. So we have a little bit more of a wiggle room, I guess, to make a larger print. So everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and hit continue. And you're just going to go ahead and send this to your printer, right? And I'm turning my bleed off. I'm using my 
um, Eco Tank 2750 regular ink jet printer, y'all. This is not sublimation, anything. It's just regular ink jet printer that you buy from the store, okay? That's what makes this thing so awesome. So we have everything all set. So we're just going to go ahead and hit print. Well, I want to use my system dialog. Hit print. Go to my preferences. And again, I am using an Epson Equal Tank 2750. So, you know, this may be look a little bit different for you, however your printer works. Okay. So we have all that. So now we're just going to go ahead and hit print. And we'll come back and finish it up. Once you're ready to go ahead and print on your DTV sheets, there's a white side and like a grayish side, like the white side nice and smooth. The grayish is a little rough. You're going to print on to the white side. OK, so we'll just go ahead and put that in our ink jet printer and let our Cricut cut it out. And we'll just once everything is cut, it cuts very well. I did use the iron on plus setting for mine, so it cuts very well and it weeds really well as well also but the only thing is when i was weeding this as you can see some of my letters was like coming up so this transfer sheet isn't tacky at all you know like regular htv vinyl how the transfer sheet is a little bit sticky this isn't the case with the dtv okay so just be super careful when you're weeding um and then i'm just going to go ahead and take my mask because you do need a mask for this project and I just laid it on top of my letters. And although I had straightened them out, uh, when I laid the mask down, they got a little bit crooked again. So I had to go in there with my tweezers and try and fix it to the best of my abilities. Now, some of my letters, I had to peel them off the mask. And that did make some of the color come off, like some of the ink came off. And you see, I put my E on wrong, but I was like, I don't want to peel it off again, you know, because the color was coming off. So the first bag I'm going to press is 100% polyester and I'm pre-pressing it at 315 degrees for 15 seconds and that is the same temperature and time I'll be pressing the DTV sheet as well. So we'll just go ahead and lay it on there, smooth it out and I'll just go ahead and press it for 300 at 315 degrees for 15 seconds. And those are the instructions that was on the heat transfer warehouse website. Now, they said if you clean the area that you're going to press with like some rubbing alcohol, that would help it like stick better. But I honestly didn't have any problem with it adhering to the bag. The only issue I did have was like at the top of my bag a little bit. And that's just because it was a little uneven because of the seams and where the straps were on the bag. But that was an easy fix for me. I just went in with the pressing pillow and put it inside the bag so I can even out the surface a little bit. And I put that masking back on the same mask that I just used. I covered up the design again and then I repressed it at 315 degrees for another 15 seconds. And then it came out bomb. So, yeah. This DTV stuff is like super dope, y'all. It's literally a game changer. It's not sublimation. It uses your regular ink jet printer. I'm using my Epson Tank 2750 for this project. And the color looks great. And once, you know, when you press your um, HTV vinyl, how you can see the threading if you see the threading in it that's how you know it's pressed on really well well you can see the threading on this so i know it's pressed on really well and it feels super soft and smooth like this is really nice like this is a total game changer caesar y'all did that with this one this was a great idea so that's my first bag that i'm doing for one of my kids teachers so i'm just going to go ahead and repeat this process but to prevent my letters from coming up while I'm weeding it, I'm taking that same mask that I just used, y'all. Y'all can reuse this mask, okay? You can reuse it quite a few times, actually. So I'm taking that same mask that I just used, and I'm going to reverse weed this. So when you reverse weed, you put the mask down, and then you peel the transfer away from the mask. Uh hope I explained that right, but y'all see what I'm doing. What I'm talking about in a second. And it worked really well. Like y'all, this DTV stuff weeds really, really well. Caesar, Caesar products read 
weed really well. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. But as I was weeding it, like my idea worked. My letters stayed down, you know, because the mask is sticky. So my letters stayed down to the mask and everything else came up very easily. But it left like this white coating, you know, like what the paper looked like. And I tried to take some rubbing alcohol and like rub it to see if it would come off. But it didn't. So I was a little nervous when it was time to press it or whatever but y'all see in a second what happened so this is it when with me reverse reading i'm just going to go ahead and pick out a few other letters and don't forget guys everything i use will be linked in the description box of this video so this is what the transfer looked like right so now I'm going to go ahead with a 100% cotton bag. And I just wanted to try it on different fabrics, you know, to see how well it worked. Of course, I wanted to do it on black because everybody's always like, does it work on black? Does it work on cotton? Like, you know, that's always the main question. So that's why I chose a polyester in a cotton bag. So I'm just going to go ahead and line it up the same way I did with my other bag. And I'm going to pre-press it and lint roll this bag as well and if you found value in this video and you're enjoying it please give your girl a thumbs up share this video with your friends and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming craft tutorials y'all so um this is just me what am i doing pre-pressing it yeah i'm pre-pressing it so this is the transfer fingers crossed because i'm like ooh, am i gonna ruin this bag or not so after 15 seconds, of course, my heat press popped up and y'all, it came out great. There was a little bit of residue left, but that came off really easily with the lint roller. So, I mean, I would say it's a hit. You know, I would do it again, the whole reverse weeding thing, because if it came off on black, then I, I already know with like white or lighter color, it shouldn't be a problem. But these are the bags I made for my kids' teachers. I'm filling it with like Kleenex, Clorox wipes, hand sanitizer, things like that. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.